Hello, everyone, and welcome to my Coronation Street official. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. It's full of lies. But Cassie Plummer is about to start a new career on Coronation Street. Since she lost her job at the garage, Cassie has been in severe need of employment. Next week, she listens in on a discussion regarding Ken Barlow's care alternatives and takes advantage of a chance that comes up unintentionally. What comes next? Scroll down to discover out. In Coronation Street, Cassie Plummer, Claire Sweeney, is at last landing a new position. There is a twist, though. She was fired from her employment at the garage after stirring up conflict between Abby and Kevin Webster. Evelyn Plummer, her mother, has been putting pressure on her to get a new job ever then. Cassie, according to actress Claire Sweeney, is in no man's land. She said that Cassie had lost her work, which is difficult for someone who has struggled with addiction in the past. The actress from Coronation Street went on to say that Cassie had applied for a position at Streetcars, but Steve McDonald had rejected it. Although he had flirted with Cassie previously, he had labeled her as trouble and declined to hire her, which infuriated Cassie. Cassie's luck changes, though, when she hears Steve, Amy Barlow, and Daniel Osborne talking about Ken's care alternatives. She proposes to work for 25% of the total price. Steve finds the notion appealing, as does Daniel and Amy. He then tells Ken a falsehood, claiming that Cassie is a professional who was employed by an agency. The Coronation Street actress said that although Cassie never presents herself as a trained caregiver, Ken is encouraged to feel differently by the family. The soap opera actor clarified that Ken finds the thought of needing care distressing already. Cassie thus questions her ability to stay in this position longer than she did in her previous one. In the heartwarming exchange that follows, Cassie informs Ken that both of them stand to gain from his willingness to accept assistance. Ken finds resonance in this advice, which causes him to rethink and become more open to assistance. Georgia Mayfoot, a star of Coronation Street, has asked people to practice kindness after hearing disparaging remarks about her health. The actress, who portrayed Katie Armstrong in the ITV serial opera, has previously talked candidly about her battle with vitiligo, a skin disorder brought on by insufficient melanin. Georgia posted a photo of her hands' vitiligo patches on Instagram stating that they grew more apparent after getting sunburned while on vacation. The 33-year-old wrote, Every time I go on vacation and I get a beautiful tan, I see how much my vitiligo has spread more than ever before. She continued by describing how, although her illness occasionally makes her feel insecure, the support she receives from her loved ones fills her heart feel full. Regretfully, not everybody accepts her situation as much. My heart sinks when I see people staring, looking really nosy, with their faces screwed up. She went on. Therefore, let me simply gently remind such individuals to be kind. The person who has it must feel very different from how it makes you feel. I'm proud to be a voice for people like me with the condition, she said in closing. Every day, I struggle with my feelings about it. It's one of those days where I realize there is nothing I can do. And so, here we are. Georgia has been quite transparent about her vitiligo, and in 2022, she used her Instagram stories to describe the issue while showcasing it in all its beauty. I noticed two small white patches on my skin two years ago, and they seem to mirror each other on both sides of my body. The woman stated, I now know I have something else. The dermatologist said after two years of testing and ultimate diagnosis, Vitiligo. As you can see, my skin's pigment has vanished, she said while displaying a video of her wrist. Though there are a few things they believe are to blame, the exact source of this is still unknown. The worst aspect is that there isn't a remedy. In 2010, Georgia made her Coronation Street debut as Katie Armstrong on the cobbles. 
Joseph was born to Katie and Chesney Brown shortly after their relationship started. Katie died in an automobile accident in 2017 off-screen, following her departure from the show in 2015. After 50 years, Helen Worth has left her position as Coronation Street's Gail Platt. After a remarkable 50 years and some memorable scenes on The Cobbles, Gail Platt actress Helen has revealed that she is leaving the role. Bosses have hinted that the plot, which will see Gail leave the soap after decades on screen, will be emotional and undoubtedly a suitable farewell for a soap legend. However, details of the plot have not yet been verified. Fears that she would be eliminated are understandable, since the plot calls for Gail and actress Helen to say goodbye in a major storyline. At the end of this year, Helen will leave in some scenes, although the script has not yet been filmed. Undoubtedly, this has been planned for a while, coinciding with Gail and Helen's 50th anniversary on the program, and Sally Dynever will be responding to the news in real time on Loose Women. She said, she really is a Corey legend during an appearance on Loose Women. Although Helen called me yesterday, I didn't anticipate anything breaking until Friday. I will really miss her. Helen was a beacon of guidance. Having been there before me, she is an amazing actor. This year felt like the perfect time to leave the show after celebrating 50 years in the most wonderful job on the most wonderful street in the world. Helen stated in reference to her choice to depart the program. I met with the producers at the beginning of the year and made the decision. They were really understanding and nice. Considered myself extremely fortunate to have worked with outstanding performers, directors, and crew members, as well as to have consistently been offered the most amazing screenplays. The last 50 years have gone fairly quickly, and I don't think it really hit me that I'm leaving. Ain MacLeod, the head of soap operas, also talked about the big news, but he withheld details regarding her departure. The terms legend and icon are bandied about these days, but Gail and Helen Worth truly fit the description, he stated. But knowing Helen, I know she won't appreciate my compliments. Gail has played a significant role in Coronation Street for 50 years under Helen's direction, and she has been at the center of some of the most memorable plots, many of which have their roots in her calamitously poor marriage choices. One of the most innovative tales in soap opera history, Gail's tragic marriage to Richard Hillman solidified her reputation as one of the greatest Corey characters. As the show's matriarch, Helen's witty and dramatic interactions with her children and flighty mother, Audrey, perfectly captured the complex family dynamics that the show's fictitious kin and Helen's own dramatic and humorous skills bring to life. Although Gil has provided us with endless hours of pleasure, Helen herself is a model professional and a really nice person. We wish her all the very best for the future and know that everyone associated with the show will miss her around as much as the audience will miss seeing her on television. Gail Platt has been a fixture in Weatherfield for a very long time, making her a household name. Over the years, she has been a part of several major stories. She still has three children living on the cobbles, Nick Tilsley, Sarah Barlow, and David Platt. Audrey Roberts is the mother of Gail, and Stephen Reed, who was exposed as a Corey killer only a few months ago, is her half-brother. Over the course of the year, Gail has been married to multiple Waiterfield men, including Joe Entire, Michael Rodwell, Martin Platt, Brian Tilsley, and Richard Hillman. Thanks for watching if you like this video. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.